Close up camera one The hero sings in this scene The boy that gets, the girl gets to go home where they get married But stop the tape The sunset still looks fake In high school, um, for the first three years of high school I was, um, not like super, like nerdy and dorky but like a little bit like I had like my group of friends I've uh, been friends with Brooks uh, a guitar player throughout all of high school and stuff and we had like a group of friends that we hung out with and we were kind of like the not necessarily like scene kids I guess but kind of like you know wore girl jeans and went to shows and stuff and weren't like the most popular kids but then uh, my senior year I actually like started dating like the head cheerleader at the school really? and then it, like all of a sudden everyone like all the popular kids like wanted to be friends with me and I was yeah. like what like these yeah. are all the kids that have ignored me for the past like so many years you know and now I'm dating this one girl you know I don't know so I was kind of like popular in my senior year which was weird but other than that yeah. and who are your celebrity crushes and do you have any man crushes here nightly is definitely my celebrity crush it has been for a while and Brad Pitt is my <laughs> man crush, if I have one. I, I definitely think if, if there's, like, if I could pick, like, any three people, males that I could be, Brad Pitt would definitely have to be one of them. Because who, who doesn't like, I mean, some people probably don't like Brad Pitt, but I mean, come on, he's Brad Pitt, you know? Like, most people love Brad Pitt. Yeah, I don't know anyone who thinks he's ugly. Like, yeah, come on. he's pretty much the man, so. <laughs> and then your favorite bands to see live, and what was your first concert that you ever went to? Favorite bands to see live, um, was a band called Further Seems Forever. They're not a band anymore, but uh, that was like one of my all-time favorite concerts, was the first time I saw them. Uh, the first concert I ever went to was a band called SR71, I don't know if you remember them from a long time ago, probably not, a uh, band called Nine Days and American Hi-Fi. That's cool. In, in Tallahassee, yeah. What is your biggest accomplishment as a band so far, what do you think? It's tough to say. I mean, there's there's a lot of things that were like really like, you know, it just it's just like unbelievable where we are right now. And like one of the things is like having a bus. You know what I mean? Like that's something that makes touring so much easier and something that you kind of like dream about the whole time that you when you start a band and everything. You know, and you know being signed and um, just being able to play you know tour and and play big shows and stuff. Those are all just awesome things. Uh, playing all of the Warp Tour was to me like really really awesome because it's you know we've all been at the warp tour since we were like 15 16 years old you know so now like however many years later we're playing the whole thing like yeah. that's that's awesome so how does music impact and change your life and why do you think it's so important for people it's just like i, I don't know it, to me it's like the the only thing that i think i'm really any good at you know so like i don't really know what i would be doing if, if i wasn't doing this you know and uh I, don't, I just don't know anybody who really doesn't like listening to any kind of music, you know what I mean? Like, like it, no matter if you don't like this kind of that kind, there, there's some kind of music that you like listening to. Everybody does, you know. And for whatever reason, I think it's just like you like connect with it, and you know, hopefully with us, like and our fans and stuff, like they can get something from the lyrics and realize that you know if they're going through the same kind of things that we were going through, that they're not alone in that, you know. And I think it's just everyone listens to music, you know. So. Yeah. Did you guys get to vote today? Uh, <laughs> this is a really sad story. I feel really, really bad saying this because I'm all about voting and I feel like a huge hypocrite, but we're from Florida and so we were, we were going to get absentee ballots, um, to vote while we were gone, but we all just never got around to it. I think Alex voted actually on our band and the rest of us, uh, wanted to, but by the time we like realized it was so close, it was just too late, you know? So I feel really, really like guilty <laughs> and really bad about it. And so if like if Florida goes the other way than what we're we're thinking, I'm gonna feel even worse that I didn't contribute, you know. So is it go, it's going on right now. I think we're on fives and we're gonna start. I don't know. Um. Also, tell people who don't know about your band why you should check you guys out. Because it's catchy. I hope it is. It's catchy, and uh, you know, why not check it out and see if you like it, you know? And hopefully it. We try to think it doesn't sound too much like everything else that's out there. I don't know what Brooks just did this for. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay.
Cool. All right, well, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Take it easy.